boom boom this is Ken everybody welcome back to the channel all right so we got the big guy Titan one in Ming so we were been waiting for him he's our tank uh, he is our uh, we wait for him for quite some time as you know I've been getting mostly attack characters from the triple S faction so we finally got uh, you know we got the healers uh, Ling Ling, uh, and now we've got finally got our tank this is the only tank uh, that's going to be introduced in a triple S faction so if you need a new tank and you don't have Angel Ren, uh, who is currently the best tank, I guess, uh, and Ming will, of course, uh, unseat her as the best tank. Uh, since he's a triple S, it, he's just basically his, his base stats are going to be much higher. Uh, and he's got a pretty good skill set as well, too. So he's called the Titan. So we take that. He's got a pretty good look to him. Uh, he's also got a skin out, Thundershock skin, which gives him more of a... He sort of looks like Evil Eye die once you if you put the thundershock skin on him sort of gets a blue white look going so uh, very interesting so uh, of course i've got the um the the um the skin for Eva, the one that, ma that makes him that you know makes it in black so but if you have the original Eva uh, and you get the thundershock skin for Titan, it looks sort of sort of similar in a little bit so basically we've got the the, the login up so it started today just came up today so we got the soul master pack okay um, basically, if you want to get the character now, but guys, you know, just wait a few weeks and you can get him for free. Um, uh, debut limited. These are actually uh, just if you know if you want to get some more stuff. Okay, divine skill. This is basically if you do purchase the stuff, this will allow you to get uh, uh, the, you know the more shards and what you purchase, you'll get you'll be able to get some more to start working on the divine skill. And then we have finally the soul master cell. All right, so we got fifty. Uh, the 40 is obtained inside of the, so uh, I'll show you that. Where you see, you got to gather a little book uh, through the levels in the book. You exchange those books for the remaining shards, and you'll be able to get 90, another 40 from that. So you got 50. Uh, this is the 20 shards right here uh, that you want to use for, for the WoW if you want to get him. This will give you the 20 that you need to complete him. I have him completed him. We'll take a look at him here shortly. Uh, then basically, I went in and got the SS+. Plus. Uh, this is a bunch of shards for... Um, uh, so you got tag sand if you're working on his divine skill or woo uh, did some did this art and basically just some uh, this art. so I went ahead and got it all since I had a lot of diamonds Okay, so and there's some other stuff in here. Then we got a resource sale. Of course. This is the book right here You need the, the soul master biographies the soul master biographies are needed to get the final 40 remember they always give you 90 the first event Okay 20 the second event and then 20 and the soul master sales we just saw will give you the 130 that is required to actually summon the character um so this is the 40 so you need to get all of these so basically 40 shards uh, you need seven of them so you're going to need basically about 200 and um so uh yeah you're going to need yeah that that's not too many that's not too many at all about four to, to, to 280 so you know that's doable. Yeah, so but you want to make sure that you do purchase as many of them as you can. Okay, so um, over the course of three days. So well, it's actually three days to five. So it's actually four days that you've actually got this up. So that gives you a little bit more, a little bit longer to actually get uh, the actual thing. So four days, you should be able to get that. Just make sure that you do try to you know at least get. Um, so 284, you want to try to at least get 70 or so uh, a day, you know, because that'll put you at about 280. So just make sure that you do get 70. Uh, and, it, you know, it's just a matter of, of running your levels and stuff. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's, it, they'll tell you exactly where to get it at. Uh, and the event details right here. So chance to drop in uh, normal stages so you can just sweeps and the arena. Okay, so if you do all that stuff, you should be able to get you should be able to get them by the time that you get that. And you also have the buff, of course, where you can purchase in the resource right here. So you can get a bunch of them right here if you do not have time. My, I would not, I would hold off. Okay, wait until the last day. Okay, and at the on that last day, after you've done everything for the day, ran all of your arena, ran all of your levels, then do the exchange and then purchase what you need to um, afterwards okay because you might want to get some of the other stuff in here 
Uh, none of it's really, there's nothing really groundbreaking in here, but it, it you know, they're bats to get. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of extra runs because I want to snatch up these right here as well too to get more uh, for Sea God Tanks in. So I'm going to be doing um, uh, a lot more. I'm going to be using a lot of my sausage. I've been saving up the sausage. I always save up the sausage for things like this. Um, and, and, you know, so I've been saving up the sausage specifically to do a lot of running. So I'll be doing that. I've already done my, um, uh, I already got the beast for today, uh, but uh, I've already summoned him. And defeated him so but I'm going to keep going on uh, I'm going to be doing two days of uh, doing one run in the morning and do my one run in the evening okay I already summoned the uh, uh, mutated beast for today and defeated him so that's how many as you can see I've, so I've run at least 1200 <laughs> so but I'm going to be running some more I've been saving up my sausages as I've said um, so I got a bunch of sausages uh, 116 sausages so I'll be using a lot of those probably might quite possibly use close to all of them I might need to to get that many tickets <laughs> you'll be able you know and I don't want to particularly spend my diamonds on the tickets if I don't have to okay so that's the Titan one and Ming okay so yeah tank pretty good skill set uh, not bad in terms of the, the rewards this is not a max chest I wish they would start giving us max chest this is one below okay this is the six chest I think uh, well, it's a five chest actually, but you know the, the the next chest is the one that has all of them in it, including Wu uh, and Sea God Tank Sam. But this does not have that. But you know, thirty of it, and then a chance to get sixty. This is a chance to uh, you know uh, boundary breakthroughs on your Soul Masters. So you you, you know if the shards are out there, grab them because you can you, you know you can increase your handbook and skip. So we do have. Uh, Lugau, right here he is, Craftsman Lugau. So I summoned him this morning. Um, you know, attacker. Two attackers and, you know, Ling Ling. And we've got um, him looking back here. Uh, he does look pretty cool. Okay. So, as always, a defense character. As all, Of course, we know that. Um Condenses divine power into a blade of light that slashes at enemies in fan shape damage by reducing 120 and deals two instances of physical damage and inflict enemies with death gaze. When target to me is less than 300, uh, deals 35% less damage to. So he's going to have a damage reduction in terms of this, okay? So that's what you get from his fusion. Uh, elemental single unit physical attack, okay? Raises shield, so he's got a shield and charges uh, towards a distant target, dealing 500 uh, times of attack as. Physical damage and stunning gaming for a second. For five seconds, reduces damage taken by self by 35%. So as we're seeing here, what we saw from Ren was we saw um, we saw healing of herself uh, as a paramount. Uh, this uh, seems to be focusing on doing damage and reducing the damage he takes. So uh, let's see what we've got in terms of healing. So we've got for eight seconds, all allies' maximum HP is enhanced by 100%. And deals three instances of physical damage equivalent to all enemies and fanship in front. He's doing a ton of damage. Uh, and that's exactly what I thought they were going to do, which is why <laughs> um, I said that I would most likely be building him after I finish you. And I will be. I mean, I looked at the first two skills when I when first come and I said, yeah, this is all attack. This guy's not a tank. Well, I mean, he's a tank, but he's really got a lot of attack as well. These four consecutive instances of physical damage of December to attack and reduces their energy by 50 points each time. Okay, so and then you got your basic passive increases crit every five seconds instance of damage taken gains a bonus and increases dual death last eight for six. Okay, so here's what you have to under, understand uh, with this character. Okay, we've got we've got a character. He's a tank, but he does damage his main focus is he does a lot of damage um, I don't see any self-healing at all um, Ren's Ren was a staple because of her self-healing okay so attack enemy in straight lines suppressing them and stealing 40% of shield HP for 12 seconds hit target is reduced by 15 everyone uh, HP every second disables displacement. It reduces damage. Take about 40 permanently gains 850 elemental hits P. A Titan's barrier would activate your enemy gains 205 elemental HP. So he increases his HP. So he does increase his own attack, dual death, and HP. 
All eyes take 20% less damage. Reduces 35% of all enemies' damage. So, there's really, I don't see any, there's really no healing. So what I see is damage reduction and HP boost. So, we're really going to have to see how he plays out. I mean, he gets a lot of a lot of the buff. Okay. Uh, so I'm not sure. What worries me is you might have to you might actually have to use a healer if you're going to use him as your tank. Uh, but we'll have to see. I mean, he could be to the point where it's just you don't need it. I mean, he should be fine. Um, but his he's clearly focusing on attack. Uh, Ren's, uh, Ren's um, Angel Ren's, uh, the reason she's the best tank was the fact that she healed herself, so you never had to worry about her. She never died. I mean, she was, you know, she was always healing herself. It, so... But, you know, and that was the staple what you didn't have to need a healer because you had the tank. The tank is mainly the one that needs to heal, okay? Evil Eye does not need healing. He's got his own thing going on, and he's just unstoppable. He just does damage, and you never have to worry about him, okay? Um, his kit's designed for that. This kit is designed for attacking, clearly attacking. Um, I was surprised at how much attack. Um, and reducing the damage he takes and in the case since it's some of the damage the others take which is what leads me to believe we could probably still get by without a healer but you're probably going to want to put some high level soy bones on him or a hidden weapon on him that'll give him some healing okay because if, I think if you put him out here stale and use him as a base um, which is basic equipment on him he might have trouble surviving against some of the against some of the higher when you start getting the SP characters, he might be a little bit disadvantaged. Okay. They're going to be doing a ton of damage at him. He's going to be reducing that damage and getting HP buffs. But how's that going to handle with the you know, replenishment of HP lost? Um, I, I don't know if that's going to be functional. Um, we'll just have to see. I mean, he's triple S, so he's going to have high base stats. But I was expecting a little bit more in terms of healing. Okay, so Awakenings. Soul Master's HP. A Domain. Yeah, he's, he's got a ton of, a ton of less damage. If some of these buffs are active, he could be reducing damage by nearly 75%. So if that's the case, he really would need much in terms of healing. So I could see where he'd probably be. He should be functional. I, I don't really see an issue. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the skin I was talking about, which makes him look sort of like Evil Eye, because it's got the same color theme going. That's a cool shield, though. Um, uh, another skin, this is... Uh, this makes him look like a Suratang Chen. <laughs> so I know. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not a Suratang Chen. But that's what he sort of kind of looks like. With the same color scheme. Uh, and then Divine Skill. Which of course is basically just taking the Precious. And putting a, a face mask on him. And changing the shield a little bit. So he's cool. Alright. Yeah I don't think I don't think survivability would be a problem. Yeah he's got multiple, uh, multiple skills. Uh... It's not just one skill that does a damage reduction. It's multiple skills as well as passives. So I think he'll be okay. You'll probably get by without having to worry about using a healer. But, you know, after I get Hugh and build her, I'm going to be building him. Uh, unless I hear from people that he's, like, not surviving. Uh, I have not heard anybody say that that in me is not, is, has been an issue. Um, but we'll have to see. But, yeah, this guy's going to do a ton of damage. Um, which, uh, that would be... Uh, a big increase over Ren. Ren doesn't do... She does damage, but she doesn't do a lot of it. Her main her main function was tank. She tanked, okay? She 
taunts and tanks and keeps the enemy fixated on her. And then she heals herself. Okay. Um, but Titan Yen, he's got a he's got a um, a charge, which produces a stun. So if the enemy's stunned, he can't attack. Multiple damage reduction uh, skills. So as those proc, you're going to get massive damage reduction, as well as uh, the stars that we get from uh, the awakening. Okay, he, I will be awakening him. Uh, I'll you know I'll pull. Uh, like I say, I'll do the same thing I'm going to do with Pierce Scott and you. I'll be pulling the Awakening from him, and from Sky, putting it on who. I'm going to do the same thing when I pull Angel. I'll be pulling the stuff off of her, putting it on him. So I will be Awakening. But if you Awaken him, that's going to give him the ability to uh, gain a big, huge buff of XP, uh, as well as uh, Dust Damage. Okay? Reduces 40% of all enemy damage dealt to young men. And... Combine that with the the skills that he's got, and you could be seeing seventy five to eighty percent damage. Uh, and if they're not, if 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 he's reducing that much damage, then yeah, there's really no need for a heal. He'll be able to just have an item on him that gives him a little bit of healing, uh, hidden weapon, or a beast, and he'll be fine. We've got several soul beasts out there that do healing, so that shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, definitely a good character. Um, I do like the fact that they're going to attack. Okay, I do like the fact that they're really focusing on the attack. Um, uh, and it, it definitely would be definitely something that would make him, uh, you know, make him going to be something that we would look at. So, uh, yeah. So what I'll be, I'll be pulling, I'll have, I'll have to pull all this off here, but I'll, you know, to do the awakening, of course. Uh, and uh, this is an excellent, uh, this is an excellent, um, uh, Uh, weapon for him because of the fact that it does all kinds of excellent. Uh, it has, it's really designed. Uh, while the wearer gains seventy and dual death, so it's it really gives uh, a good buff on defense, uh, protection shield, and it negates damage. So, putting this on him, uh, yeah, we shouldn't have any trouble at all surviving. But you gotta understand, we're going to be going up against XP characters, um, and they're going to be doing a lot of damage. So. Uh, I was hoping to have a self heal. Just one would have been nice. Uh, but if you're negating damage that much, then it really uh, just having a basic soul bone, uh, you know, soul bones to do some healing. Uh, maybe instead of sticking a soul bone set on him, which is attack with a red set, you might want to go with the yellow HP or the orange defense set. So there, you know, there's things to try. Uh, the yellow and the orange sets are obtainable. You can purchase, purchase them inside of the shop. That's out of the Soulboat shop. So if you go into the shop, Soulboat shop, see so you can get you can get the yellow on the orange sets from in here, full sets. Okay. There's the orange. There's the yellow. So that's not a big deal. I mean, I've got enough to make a red set for him. Uh, the red set does have, um, you know, extra proc abilities on it. It's just this set focuses on defense and damage reduction and HP, and it gives you a little bit of damage. Um, this focuses on HP, damage reduction, defense, and a little bit of damage. Uh, the red set focuses on attack. Okay, so it has an extra it has an extra proc. So, so that's. It's the most powerful of the actual so but that's why it's not sold in the shop and, and that's why you have to obtain the chests So as you can see I have 255 okay, so Yeah, you can make the sets, okay, I've got a set on I've got my first all of my mains and all of my, I think all of my supports already have a red defense set on, a red attack set on them. Okay, so, but you might want to go a little bit different. See, this is attack, damage reduction, HP, and damage, okay? So this has no defense built into it, but it's got the attack, damage, and it's got a little bit of HP. So, but, so it's a little bit, it's, that's why it's not, you know, 
uh, it's sold inside the shop. It's considered to be the best. But they offer the chest frequently. I mean, you should have no trouble whatsoever getting sets for, for that. I mean, you know, just make sure that you, uh, you know, because it's the best set and it gives you the most benefit, um, you know, I, I just don't feel comfortable taking the orange or the yellow set up to SS+. Plus. I, I feel if I'm going to spend and earn those hard-to-get rare mats that I want to be putting on, on the best set possible. Okay, so that's just my thoughts. So keep that in mind. It's difficult from a free-to-play perspective to take a, a to take your soul bones and your actual armor sets up to you know large six like that. You know, it's just you know, it's it's just really you know, it's really so it's really difficult. Okay. To get these up to triple S, because you need the actual uh, the material for it. So the Phoenix Divine Blood right here, it's really hard to get. So right now, you know, I would not want to spend all of my. I wouldn't want to spend all of my Divine Blood leveling up a set that's not considered the best set. I mean, once it becomes uh, an item that's obtainable a little bit more frequently and usable, then, yeah, it would be not a big deal. But for right now, uh, I would stick to just focusing on the attack set uh, to take the triple S, okay? Now, in terms of uh, other events, we've got the Lucky Treasure, okay? I really did good on this today. I actually bagged an extra shard. If I wanted to, I could put it on Edming. <laughs> uh, and also got uh, uh, a four chest which I threw on a sort of tank. Chen, he's only one of those four that's not maxed out, divine skill-wise. Uh, so as always, remember to um, do the task. Remember to claim these, okay, just by doing the soul beast. It's not marked, and it doesn't pop up, so you won't know it's there unless you actually go to it physically. All right, so tighten up. Get in there and knock him out. Lucky treasure, we all know what that's about. Time limit events, we, of course, have the active wheel. As I've said, remember... You could only miss three times. Eight positions on the wheel. 21 to get the spider soul. Right here. Okay, so you can only miss three. One a day or on one day that you don't get it. If you miss four, you're not going to be able to get the divine. But you're not going to be able to get the spider core. You're going to come up 20. You're going to come up short. So make sure that you do this. And it starts on Friday. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Once you get all the slots, you can't draw anymore. So the most you can draw in one day is eight. So the most you can draw in a three-day period is 24. Okay, so don't like think, oh, I'm going to skip it on Friday and Saturday, then do a bunch of times on Sunday. It ain't going to happen. You're only going to get eight. <laughs> okay, so when this gets, you can't draw. Okay, when all lucky drives have been closed, it closes. You can't spin anymore. I could have 200 tickets, and it'd mean nothing. They would not let me draw because they're all gone once all the slots have been filled. So 24 days. So make sure you do it. Okay? So that's up. Um, make the gift bag, as always. Uh, a pretty good weekly gift bag this time. Actually, I claimed all three. Last couple of weeks, the gift bags have been really, really, really nice. Uh, so that's basically it. But that's everything. You know, Devil Whale, get in there, attack the Devil Whale. I was at five. I'm now up to 20. Whew. But I've cleaned most of the stuff in here. So um, I usually just do my I just do my six and then stop. You could purchase a bunch more, but I don't see the need. The mats aren't that great. They're basic material mats. All right, so uh, make sure you get in there for that. Make sure you do your treasures. The sex speed race will be starting off pretty soon. We've managed to get that chest. I don't, this, one's, this is pretty nice. It's an S, but I've already got this. Is, my goal is right here. This is my chest. I want to get this chest. If I get this chest, I'm happy. <laughs> so that's, yeah, we managed to get it. All right, we'll start out. We were still 10. Uh, the jump between 10 and 11 is pretty high. Or, I mean, 10 and 9. But we got close. We're getting closer. So we might be able to overtake them one time. But anyway, the top three or four guilds are going to, that they're like so far ahead. They got like, all the players are like 25 billion. So not going to be able to compete with those guys. But it's fun for us uh, almost 
level people there to be having our own little uh our own little uh competition going on so that's pretty nice all right so that's pretty much everything going on so this is going to be going on i say for the actual resource sale uh, will be you know um Right here will be going on for a little bit longer than the actual sale. The, the event itself is only three days. But they'll have this up, which is good because that's a lot of tickets. That's awful high price. Uh, I would have preferred to see that around like three or four. Um, would have been the logical assumption. But they popped it up to um, seven, which I think is why they're giving us an extra day. So we'll have to see. But um, yeah, make sure you get in there and knock that out. Because that's your, that's your 40. You want to walk away from this event with 90 shards. Okay, if you don't walk away with 90 shards, if you're less than 90 shards, you won't be able to get the character on the third event. They give you just enough. They're going to give you 130 shards. If you participate in all three events, they'll give you 130 shards to summon the character. Okay, but if you miss any of that, don't participate in one of the events or don't get all of the do all of the requirements to get all of the shards, you won't be able to complete it, okay? Because this Soul Master sale that that's right here, okay, that you get right here, okay, this does not have the character in it, okay? So this is going to come out, okay? There's, you know, there's the character that it is for, it's not in it, okay? So you're not, there's not going to be any end min, there's no end min shards in here, okay? So you can't, so you, you don't get, you've you got to participate and you've got to do it all. Okay, now the second event, if they do like they did on the Craftsman League Gal, the second event will just be basically Soul Master Sale and they'll stick it inside of time limited events. I don't know if that's going to become the norm. Usually, up until now, it had been, they would post up this event on the desktop a second time to let you know that the second event was here. But the, the second event for... Um, Lugal was stuck inside time limit events, and I'm not. Sh I think that was because it, the event occurred while the Chinese New Year event was going on. So I think I think things things got a little. So they did it a little bit different. So I don't know if I do see. You know, if we do see the Titan, uh, if they do not post this up again, you know, keep an eye on the time limited events. I'll of course do a video when I see it if it does pop up like that. Like I did the last time, but um, we'll have to see if they're going to put that back up. I hope they do. But it's a pretty good event. He's a pretty good character. Ton of attack. He's a very good character. So I will be building him. Uh, once I read the skill set, I said, "Yeah, I got to build him." Not going to do it right yet. Maybe uh, I might do a, I might do some math uh, and see if I got enough to actually do them both. Uh, because you know, End Ming is coming up. Okay, but. If you look at the list, uh, we've still got Zhu before Who drops. So I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of a buffer. So, you know, if I do, that's not Erming. It's supposed to be Enming. But, you know, maybe, you know, I'm not, since I'm not going to be pulling, I'm not going to be pulling materials from an attacker to put it on him. So it's not like I won't have the mats. What I'm worried about is the stars, but based on the amount of attack in Ming's doing, it really would surprise me if at three sun for right now, if that's all I could take him to, that it would still be better than I'm getting for Ren. Ren just doesn't do much damage, which I not looking was not looking for her to do damage. As I've said before, her job was to keep, you know, her job was to keep my ranged attackers from getting attacked and she did that excellently uh, and keep her you know she, she has to be alive to do that so that's and she she was always alive so but with this much attack I got a feeling you know that this is probably going to be something that I might want to go ahead and start on earlier I was not I was expecting I was expecting more attack okay I mean that was obviously going to be something they were going to include I wasn't expecting this much attack though that's a ton of attack um, buff that we're getting. Plus, he gives it to the rest of the team. So that gives him a support function, too, surprisingly. Um, well, I mean, I, I was expecting a support function in terms of damage reduction, a shield, 
maybe a stray heal, but mostly just a shield and damage reduction. I was expecting an attack buff. He appears to be giving that as well. So that makes him a little bit more valuable. So he's definitely something that, uh, uh, that you know, we might do. So, yeah, I might go ahead and, you know, do the math over the next few days. If I do decide to build him, I'll do a video and we'll, we'll build him up together. Uh, well, one of the things I'm going to have to look at is mats. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much defense soul rings I have. Um, but on a brighter note, I have finished the soul rings for who? Who's all set in terms of soul rings? So I can start working on the Titan stuff right now. I can start focusing on the defense soul rings. Uh, and maybe, you know, because it's still going to be another uh, three or four weeks before he's fi I finally get him. So in three to four weeks, I should be able to build up the defense soul rings needed. So I'm probably going to end up building him, okay, when I get him. And if I do, uh, like I say, I, like I, if you know, I told you that I was probably going to build him, but I was probably going to do after who, but with this much attack, I might as well do it now. Uh, yeah, I was yeah, I was not expecting somebody to be this powerful. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So, But I'll do a video if I decide to. Uh, but all right, that's all I got. So uh, remember to subscribe, as always. Once you subscribe, you'll see the bell. Click on it. You get notified each time I drop a video. Like and share, as that always helps the channel. It's Ken Rear. Still coming at you. Still stuck in the corner. Signing out.